imagine yourself that you are lying or you get bashed by a car. And unfortunately to you, you don't go into a coma. You are absolutely awake and you're in horrible pain. And there's nobody there. And there is nobody to call. And some guys pick you up as you are with your broken bones, lift you and take you like a potato sack into a taxi, which is stopped by the mob or whatever when it happened. And they whisk you to the first hospital where they actually roll you out. Done. The biggest kill in Vietnam today are car accidents and road accidents. After that you have all the cardiovascular and all the metabolic diseases. Society in the transfer mode with everything that comes with it. Strokes and other things. You've got to understand that there is no real emergency services and you'll be surprised of a lot of countries in Southeast Asia. It's not really in Thailand, very thin in Singapore, almost non-existing in Malaysia, none in Indonesia. It's actually countries that there's an accident and there's a scoop and run policy, stop a taxi, pop the guy in and off you go. Now the local system, which is called 115, is an ailing system. One of the main reasons is that it's unfunded or underfunded, underbudgeted. The local system is suffering from a chronic myopia when it comes to vision how to do things, for many reasons. Political, economical, cultural. And ambulances in Asia, and you will see them in Asia, are vans, they are Toyota vans. Because the mindset is, we transport. We move from here to there. So what you see, you see the family sitting behind, the patient is lying, and there's a nurse there, and the doctor sits in the front next to the driver. We are transporting. We don't work in the cars. And that's why a van is a, a van. Now, when you take a van and you don't have money, and you buy only a van, and you buy a bottle of oxygen, and it looks all dirty and shabby, and there's no system to computerize system to, to, to dispatch them. So what you get you get a very natural response of the population, which actually they take uh, things to their own hands. And when the population takes things to their own hands, taxi is the first thing that you see, scoop and run. Natural. Now, you've got to stop, rewind, and play again. Oh, emergency uh, situation. Life is time. So it means that uh, when any patient uh, need medical help, they need help from the beginning, from the cone, and from the ambulance approach inside the ambulance and at the emergency room. If we uh, perform perfectly, the, the possibility of the survival is increased. You know that uh, over Vietnam, only here have a standardized emergency service. I work for both system, public system and private system. And uh, I come here and want to save more life. In medical school, I am teacher. 
only six hours for emergency medicine. Six hours. I cannot uh, talk much about emergency medicine. I only give some basic knowledge. With six hours, we cannot do more. No defibrillator, no monitoring, and only some splint, no medication, and no doctor. Only driver and uh, unprofessional nurse. In Vietnam, you know that almost doctor cannot do the correct CPR. We are being recognized as a pilot thing for Vietnam. We created, we stirred a lot of issues because apparently um, the local authorities are exposed. The emergency authorities, 115, and um, they want to keep in power. For example, last, uh, last week uh, I had uh, the case, uh, the, the stock case, you know, stock, stock case, and before they go to us, they go to 115 service many times, but they... They, they didn't they, respond, so yeah, they called. They respond, they said, they, 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 they will go, they said they will go, but... They dispatched the car, ambulance? In, in fact, they don't go. They said they will go, but in fact, after that, in fact, they, they don't go, and the, the, the person, uh, family member wait for a long time, but there's no ambulance to come to the scene, and they call to us. Yeah, they, they, they go to, to stand and, 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 and okay, mm. and we go. But at the time, it's late. It, it's late for a stroke patient. It's out of the golden time, three hours mm. outside. Doctor, look. Mm. Doctor, look. She needs you. Yeah, yeah. Hi, boy. How are you? I'm going to go to the hospital. 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 Nếu asthma thì anh sẽ dùng uh, ừ, benzolin nhé. Okay. Còn nếu không phải asthma anh nghe khỏi nha, mà nếu mà nó ngon đấy, thì anh làm gì? Đẹp cái đấy. Ủa, uống băng đây hả? Dạ. Yeah. The idea is to allocate and base a medical team on the ground as soon as possible to stabilize the situation. Once there is a good medical team on the ground, all the emergencies in control if you have all the equipment and everything in the car. I always believe in, uh, in scandals, in raking, shaking the boat, because then things happen. So when people get angry and they say, hey, look, how come they have and we don't? We also need to have. So we pull them and they pull them and slowly, slowly everybody pulls each other. So it seems like the hotel staff are the ones who called, but not the patient? The patient called with us, and then receptionist called come back the receptionist of the hotel, and then the hotel say we will come here to help him. to see it actually as a service for the population. Statistics show that there's a reduction in mortality of 24%. Every city which you produce such a, such a service, and it works. 24% is a lot. It's 24 people out of 100 are saved, who's supposed to die. That's a big number, even in medical statistics and epidemiology. And I think that the fact that it created such a wave of panic among the authorities is because this works.